what is happening what is happening traders welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video we are going to be looking at the number one thing you need to focus on when you are learning forex so without wasting any time let us get on with it do not compare yourself with other traders don't compare your success with the success of other traders and it's actually funny because i actually received a comment um i think the day before yesterday right on one of my youtube videos and um this guy was actually actually commented on my on my youtube video and he said bro you should actually give an advice once you have a six figure balance in your bank account right so um i'm here to try and set the record straight that i'm not trying to compete with anybody right and um, for me forex trading is, is is not about getting in making millions and all of those things for me forex trading is all about consistency okay if i was able to make five us dollars in the previous month will i be able to make it this month right will i be able to make it in the next month because i know that if i was able to make five us dollars this month you know in the next three months i'll be able to make maybe 20 us dollars and then in the next uh, month I'll, I'll be able to make um probably 100 us dollars so for me forex trading is all about consistency so i'm not pressured by what other forex traders have i'm not pressured by their expensive cars right i'm just improving my life slowly and hoping that you guys can actually learn from my experiences as an individual so that is why i'm actually documenting my trading chain i'm not documenting my trading journey to actually show you guys uh the things that i have or the things that i've actually accomplished you know so i'm trying to be as humble as i can and you know i'm trying to inspire some of you guys you know so that um you know one day you can say that oh we, we actually had a trader that actually started from the bottom i need you guys to see me like <laughs> now when i don't have a, a lamborghini and then i need you guys to see my life improving steadily and slowly steadily and slowly right and what i can say is uh, uh what i like saying is uh, i don't like saying i have money but what i like saying is i'm better than i was in the last three years right and the and in the next three years i'm going to be better than i am right now right so to me it's all about consistency i'm not competing with anybody right so i'm hoping that some of you guys can actually learn from me and i'm hoping that some of you guys can actually see that um forex trading is not about uh, getting rich quick it is it is a process and i want to take you guys in that process and you know for you to actually see me you know growing 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 to that point where you're actually satisfied that year uh, he is where he actually wants to be so i'm not competing with anybody you guys. need to try and focus on the process more than on the outcome right focus on whether you're improving as a trader not on how much you're supposed to be making as a trader right are your skills getting developed as the month goes by you know um not how much money you're supposed to be making love the process and that is why a lot of people tend to 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 think that you 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 never make it in forex oh that is why it actually takes people a long time to make it in forex because they are just hungry for that money right when they are actually supposed to be hungry for information right you cannot make money without being skilled in forex trading so why not start with this thing that is going to make you money right once you start on improving your, your forex trading skills the money is going to come right i always say that forex trading is a skill and once you get that skill you're actually set for life once you get that skill bro you're actually set for life and your kids are set for life your grandkids are set for life and i, I actually released I, I mean i haven't released the video but you know i, I was i was saying that uh, you should actually try to teach your kids how to trade right because you don't really know what the future holds for you i mean there are robots and stuff like that um robots are replacing humans so job opportunities are, are, are being decreased so but um you know you really you really should consider to teach your child how to trade i mean i'm pretty much sure that i'm going to teach my my, my child how to trade uh probably from the age of um probably say eight to ten years you know he'll be trading with his father and stuff like that so 
and not just try to love the process right the money is going to come but you need to have patience Faith is important in forex trading because <laughs> forex trading actually humbles people a lot of people tend to quit forex trading because they they just never had faith they just never had patience right so you need to, to actually trust yourself that you're good enough to actually do it right you need to have faith in yourself right you need to have something that's going to that's going to motivate you each and every day right i always say that um I'll, i actually released another video um on my um on on this tele i mean on this youtube channel where i was actually saying that um I'm, I'm i'm glad that my ex left me because i had nothing because that is what i use a, a, as a as a catalyst right each and every day you know i'm just trying to, to show her that you know don't don't look at someone's current situation and try to actually picture that person's future right this is planet earth anything can happen so i'm just trying to that sort of like helped me to want to prove her you know that to want to prove to her that you know things don't work like that in this life thing and you know for me to, to be motivated it's not only about my ex but you know wanting to get my mom out, out, out of the hood you know like wanting to build her house wanting to take care of my family like you, you must have all of those things to actually motivate you as a trader right once you 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 you're starting to have doubts and you you're starting to want to quit you know just try to remember what's at stake look at your mother's situation me me i look at my mother's situation right so that sort of like makes me to get up and you know continue with the grind consistency is everything in forex trading are you consistently making money are you consistently putting in the work right guys when i talk about consistency I, I i don't mean you know making thousands and thousands if you were able to make one percent of your account in the previous month and then in this month you were able to make three percent of your account and then in the following month you're able to excuse me and then in the following month you're able to make um five percent there is consistency that is what forex trading is about forex trading is not about doubling accounts forex trading is not about making thousands and millions of, of of dollars on one trade it is about consistency right are you consistency putting in the work right are you taking breaks in forex trading because if you're taking breaks <laughs> it's 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 going to slow down the process of you becoming a profitable trader right so in each and everything that you do in forex trading try to to give it the, the consistency that it actually needs right do you back test on weekends do it consistency don't do don't make it like a, a once off thing bro right back testing it yeah it's not it's not a nice experience but you know as time goes on it um it will actually in increase your trading skills i always say that i always say that in forex trading experience counts and uh you know experience counts also if you are consistent you know so you need to be just you know um putting in the work trying to increase your trading skills don't try to take any breaks because you took a loss once you take a loss get back up or i know that losses can um to to some people losses can res can result as a failure but you know one advice that i'd actually give to you is you know take losses as a lesson right the more losses you take in forex trading the faster you are most likely to actually grow in forex trading right so um at the end of the day we we mustn't try to focus mostly on the uh, uh, on the trading strategy but we we also have to you know we also have to try and observe where our trading psychology is at right do you have a good trading psychology right do you understand how forex trading works do you understand how forex trading works because a lot of people i feel like they don't understand how um how forex trading works and that is why a lot of people are going to lose money a person funds an account without having a strategy or a person funds an account without no i mean a person funds an account knowing that 
that trading strategy that he's even using he, he doesn't even back test it he doesn't even know the success rate of the trading strategy you need to have a, a you need to know the success rate is it a 60 percent accurate trading strategy and the only way for you to know the success rate of a particular trading strategy is if you journal your trades you took a loss okay negative one you 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 you, you want to trade that had a one is two three risk two reward ratio and you risk one percent that that is positive three right and then at the end of the month you you you, sub, you subtract the losses from your um from your from your wins and then you actually calculate how much money you actually made right so you know um just try to be consistent in everything um you're actually doing in forex trading and understand what forex trading really is